Lord Curtis Lake, thank you for, for talking to mm -hmm. us today. We're, we're outside the Treasury building Indeed, yes. right now. Yes. Um, you have done this report on it. Uh, you're not saying break it up, but you are saying there are some problems that need to be dealt with with the Treasury. Yes, look, the Treasury has some immensely talented people in it, but we think there are some real issues about uh, how it was affected by the Brexit debate. We think its standing was adversely affected. And also we feel that in recent years it's gone beyond its core roles of managing finances and running the economy, intruding into a whole range of government areas of policy. So what we argue for is keeping finance and economics together, but focusing on the core mandate. And when it comes to Brexit, I mean, what was it that the Treasury got wrong here? I mean, clearly they were forecasting a recession. Yes, People yes. didn't necessarily believe any of their figures. Do you th is it that that damaged them, or is it lack of preparation? Well, what was it? I think it's two things. I think they made some forecasts. We will find out whether they were simply wrong or wrong in the timing. But I think two things really struck us. One was that people just didn't believe it. Uh, and really, you would want a trusted uh, Treasury to be listened to carefully by the public. Why didn't, they, why didn't they believe it, do you think? Well, I think because it was caught up, and this is the second point, with this wider political dogfight that was going on, uh, and in particular, of course, the uh, ill-fated emergency Brexit budget. No, and that was damaging for the Treasury's reputation, I think it was. It? I think it was. Not and just George Osborne? You think this is the broader institution? I think, it, I, went, I think it went deeper than that for a number of reasons because the Treasury was so entangled in that political debate. Now, we need a strong Treasury, uh, particularly in this period of Brexit where there are huge economic risks and we need trusted economic advice. But... We also think that the Treasury should focus on its core roles. It needs to be strong in the right way. Do you think that the Treasury, and for that matter the broader civil service, is prepared for Brexit, for the negotiations? I mean, you were head of the civil service. Mm, yeah. Are they ready, do you think? I don't think they are, and I think in particular I'm seriously concerned that a proper assessment of the skills and resources needed hasn't been done. In fact, uh, Whitehall is still reducing staff quite dramatically. And you do ask the question, how do you both deliver Brexit and have a significant domestic policy agenda as well? So, so there is still a shortfall in terms of the kind of quality of, of negotiating staff? Is that the issue? It's just the, the scale of it? Does it, is it? And is it more difficult now that it's leaving the single market as well? I think all of the above, actually. I think it's about negotiating skills. It's about... Uh, finance uh, and accounting skills, it's, it's policy making as well and if government want to have both a strong economic uh, mandate, domestic policy being developed afresh and deliver Brexit you're going to have to resource that and think very carefully about the reductions you're now making. Final question this is this, your review, it's an independent review of the Treasury yeah. but it was commissioned by the Labour Party by John McDonnell there were other reviews, uh, for instance, one of the Bank of England that, that yeah. didn't happen because of the troubles that Labour Party had, because of them losing their, yeah. some of their economic advisers. Why did you stick with them? Because a lot of people are concerned about the Labour Party and their economic direction. Well, look, I'm a crossbencher. I'm not a member of the Labour Party. But bluntly, if I'm asked to do a review, I think I should see it through. It's did you have any misgivings, though, given what has happened? I think my sense was that I wanted to produce a report that would be useful for John McDonnell but also more useful in a wider sense. So whatever uh, angle people come from politically or otherwise, it's a valuable report.